Good morning. Uh, this morning we're um, showing you a veggie chili with some um, rice. So it's quite nourishing and delicious. So first you're going to begin with a big pot. You'll chop one and a half cups of onion, um, two garlic cloves, and you'll just saute that in some olive oil for uh, just until the onion is soft. Once you've got that done, you're going to add one, well, either two 14 ounce cans of diced tomatoes or one double that size. So for me, I like to use this one. It's fire roasted diced tomatoes. I don't know if you can see all of it. That's what I use. So I'll use one of those. Um, but half a cup of frozen corn. I usually add a little bit more. Same as the diced carrot, about a half a cup of that. But I tend to not go exactly by recipes or, or other things. So I usually um, adjust as to what I like. So about, about a half a cup, you can see how it is for you. A half a cup of water, one large red pepper chopped, um, two teaspoons of chili powder, half a teaspoon of ground allspice. Sometimes I like to put maybe a quarter teaspoon of turmeric in there. It's good anti-inflammatory properties. So adding all that together, and you'll bring that to a boil. And next you'll add the black beans. So black beans, I usually use about a cup. I do dried and then freeze them. So if you wanted to use a full like 19 ounce can, you could do that as well. And then for the rice, it's about half a cup. And I love this rice. It's a high quality, delicious rice, basmati rice. Um, so that's what I like to add. And then I also add about um, three quarters cup, maybe half a cup, depending on chickpeas or garbanzo beans, they're called. So for the black beans, it's for about half a cup, it's, um, I think it's seven, maybe seven grams of protein, and then about eight grams of fiber. And the chickpeas, they can provide about 10 grams of protein per, per cup, and I think around nine grams of, nine or 10 grams, maybe a fiber for, for a cup of chickpeas. So once you, and if you're using um, canned black beans, just make sure to rinse, like drain them, rinse them, and, and then add them once you're done. So you'll put that all in, your beans, both beans and your rice, and then stir it, cover it, and you'll simmer it for about an hour and a half until the rice is split uh, and liquid is mostly absorbed. And then you'll have your pot of delicious veggie chili, and I will show you if I can go on to my thing here. Where we are. So there, there's what it looks like. Well, that's what mine looks like anyway. So it's very delicious, and I hope that you try it and enjoy it. Or maybe you adjust it to the other things that you'd like to have in your veggie chili, but that's how I like mine. And I hope that you enjoy this little short recipe I could share with you and I'll post below um, the actual ingredients and how to make it. So have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you soon.